Mortgage broker AI tools have just got even better. So today's episode, I want to be talking all about Empowered Mortgages, which is part of MCube, and we're going to be talking all about their marketing genius software. Now, I have actually been speaking with the engineer who created this software, um, Stalios. He's amazing guy and also a couple of the other people behind um, the scenes within empowered and mcubed and we're going to be they're going to be coming on the podcast they're going to be talking about the mindset behind it all but i wanted to share just an initial look into this software some of you will know it some of you won't um, and i will be breaking down in other videos and tutorials over the time how to use this in more depth but i just want to give you a basic overview of what this looks a first look at it so effectively what empowered is um, what, what the empowered like marketing genius software is a tool it's an ai generated tool that allows you to generate content so they give you you can create emails create blogs create social media content create website content and it also creates scripts for vlogs so there are loads of different things you can do now you access this this is going to be a very visual episode by the way so people listening to this if you're listening to it head over to the youtube channel which is ash borland and um, you'll find this here but i will also talk my way through it but if you go to the empowered website and click on intermediaries and then if you go over to there and you go oh, highlight onto more you're going to find on tools there is the mortgage calculator the pay valuation fee and then there is also a marketing genius and the marketing genius is the thing that we are currently looking at here all you have to do to sign up to it you just give them your email address and you just start using marketing genius and it will open up this now what i really like about this is that many people in our space in the mortgage marketing mortgage business growth space we advocate using things like ChatGPT, which i still am a big fan of ChatGPT. i would use it here but this is actually powered by ChatGPT and other ai models things like claude which is from anthropic and i think gemini might even be in it as well but don't quote me on that we'd have to get i don't know for definite i do know that claude and ChatGPT for sure are underpinning this um, which is wicked now when you go on to it what you're actually able to do let's just do an example of just to show you what it is so let's take a blog post so i'm going to click on the blog post and what it does is gives me a of, of some prompts and this is what i love about this is it's taking away the prompting part of the process that's the bit that's one of the hardest bits to do is the prompting structure and so this effectively takes it away from it so it says craft a first draft of a full blog post including an intro body and conclusion so that's effectively the initial part of the prompt then it says give us a title so blog title they say try five reasons to remortgage so let's try that one five reasons to remortgage the next thing they say is uh, target audience so try first time buyers home movers about to remortgage whichever it, so let's talk about home movers about to remortgage so this is our target audience tone of voice we have a drop down box for tone of voice which i think is great because it makes you all not really sure so we've got optimistic motivating respectful assertive i'm let's do assertive <laughs> let's try that one and then we've got key points so what are the key points that you are trying to focus on separate them with a comma so the first key point so first key point might be make sure to assess your options before you reach your svr shop around to see if other deals might be best suited for you decide whether or not you want to borrow more money in order to improve your home with extensions or home improvements so now what we've got is an outline of a blog let's have a look what it creates so what's first of all really cool about this people who don't know what's been generated it has generated us a blog so what it will do is it'll generate a blog an outline an initial blog and it's given us five reasons to remortgage and it's broken down the five across the top it does say this content is not approved you must ensure that your compliance teams review this before you publish it which of course makes complete sense but it gives you this blog now one of the reasons it's got here is reason one is secure a lower interest rate as your current mortgage deal in near its end you'll be placed on your lenders standard variable rate which is often significantly higher remortgaging allows you to switch to a new deal with a lower interest rate potentially saving you thousands of pounds over the mortgage term so that's the first one obviously what they're saying here is what they're saying here at this point is obviously that you're that you would if you don't remortgage you're going to a higher rate so you'd get a lower rate than the svr if you if you remortgage they're not saying that you can get a lower rate than what you're currently on but there's and there's different ones access to better terms we've got um release equity from your home consider um consolidate debts adjust your mortgage term now 
it gives you these basic blogs. And this is a nice little blog here. It's a nice little first draft. Now, the thing that I love, love about this, which is what separates it, is that it has this thing here on the side. And this is a compliance assist, really. It's a regulatory assist. Now, this is brought up. So it says here, please reflect at the top. It says, please reflect on these points to help with your regulatory, regulatory considerations. Actually highlights the points for you so the first one it says and it shows it actually shows you on the blog what point they're meaning to so this specific one we go to the point we we're talking about earlier it's saying secure your interest rate the stuff we said about the svr and it says here have you considered explaining the term standard variable rate for clarity which is often higher is what we've said you can actually come in here and edit it like a word document so you can edit the blog on the page like a word document and this is where you would then say for clarification what a you might say yeah, you might just say that, like, for clarification, the standard variable rate is the rate that a lender chooses to charge anybody who is not on an existing product. It is usually linked to, in some way, linked to the Bank of England base rate, and it is reflected in what they want to charge, whatever it may be. But what this can do is, what this is doing then is, once you've gone, yep, yeah, that's cool with me, you can press dismiss, and you can go back through. So the next one we have here... So is it possible to provide a realistic numer numerical example to illustrate the potential savings? So remortgaging can allow you to switch from one deal to the other, potentially saving you thousands of pounds over the term of a mortgage. Now you could, if you wanted to here, use an example. And then with that example, then say just this is an example and everybody's situation is different, but a, sp a specific client who worked with me ended up saving this. So using a case study, which again shows. We've got the next one, clarify. Could you clarify what is meant by more flexible repayment options to avoid ambiguity? So yeah, you could talk about offset mortgages. You could talk about all these different types of mortgages that, that are available for different flexible repayment options. Now, what is actually so useful about this tool and what I love about it is that it isn't just doing the job for you. Those compliant, compliant stuff there on the side, the regulatory stuff, effectively looks at the FCA um, financial promotion guidelines and it also looks at the mcob rules and that's in the back end of it of what it's doing and you can do this with chat gpt anyway you could actually put into chat gpt could you make this compliant with mcob rules and fca regulation but what's really useful about this tool and this is what i like more than anything and i was speaking to um, raza who's one of the guys who is involved in this was saying, I was saying how much I love that this is a training tool. If you are somebody right now who is not sure what you should and shouldn't post on social media, start using Marketing Genius and it's going to teach you what you can and cannot say. And if you run a few of these over a few months and you start to do these two or three of these a week and you start running, using for your emails, whatever it may be, you'll start to be happy prompted what you can and cannot say, should and potentially shouldn't say, and you'll start to be able to word your language, your content, your videos, everything in a way that is going to be more compliant. And that's what I love about it. It's such an incredible tool for that. And the best thing about this is it's completely free. And from my knowledge, when I spoke to them last, they have no desire to charge for this. There's a tool they want to give. The Stalios who created it, he literally created this as a work passion project. And that's what I love so much about it. And it's why I wanted to, to put it on blast. So if you are somebody, you're a mortgage broker, which you should be because if you listen to this and you're thinking, can I, you know, I, I need some help with my marketing and you need some help on any of the following things, which is writing emails, creating blogs, social media posts, um, website content or, or creating a vlog like a, a script then this tool i highly recommend you this is made by financial professionals for financial professionals and it's one that i'm going to be talking about a lot with it and we're going to be doing some more videos on the channel i'm going to probably do a playlist on how to use this in more depth but highly recommend you check this one out